Hi, so I am going to show you my photosynthesis versus cellular respiration puzzle activity. This is a great activity that compares photosynthesis and cellular respiration, and students will also be looking at the equations. And I offer this activity both as paper edition and Google Slides. And today I'm going to show you the Google Slides. I'm very excited about it uh, because it's really engaging for the students and they absolutely love doing it on their iPads, Chromebooks, or desktop computers. Now my students have, mostly all of them have iPads and um, it just works really, really well. But again, they can use any of those techno the devices work well. So um, students are going to be given puzzle pieces and they're going to have to place them according to where they belong. So we're looking at where does it take place? When does it happen? What is the input? What is the output? What type of cells um, does it take place in? What is the energy result? So if you purchase this activity, you'll be provided with a link and you are going to click the link and it will ask you to make a copy and you'll go ahead and you'll make a copy. And then if you have Google Classroom, you can take this and upload it on Google Classroom so that all your students have a copy of it. And I would make sure that they have a copy so that they're not all working on the same one. So what I um, did for this activity is I also made the background to where students, if they on accident try to shift or move something, it won't move. So it makes it a lot easier for students to not make some mistakes. And um, so let's go ahead and look at the activity. So I consider this page one because the other one is the cover. So on page one, students are going to place the puzzle pieces according to if it's photosynthesis or cellular respiration. And I also wanted students to write the definitions. So you will see that here they have to write what photosynthesis is, what is cellular respiration, and I have added text boxes so it makes it super easy for students to just start typing the definition on there. And then on the third page, I have a, another puzzle activity where students are going to give me the equation for photosynthesis and also for cellular respiration. And once students finish all of the puzzle pieces, they will go over and they will write a reflection. And in the reflection, so it'll say from this activity I learned and they'll write the reflection. Um, nice thing is that I added a text box. So again, it's super easy for students just to click and start typing. So let's go ahead and look at the puzzle pieces. So the last page has the puzzle pieces and it says page one pieces. So all of these are for the first page. And then these are page two pieces. These are for the equations. So what I have students do is I have them copy each one. So for example, I want to copy chloroplast. So I'm going to, since I'm on my laptop, I can click control C. If you have, um, if the students are on desktops or Chromebooks, they can just easily control C or they can right click and copy it. iPads, just hold it down and then click copy. And then I'm going to go to the first page and I am going to control V It's going to paste it and then I move it where it goes. I asked myself, well, does it take place in cellular respiration or photosynthesis? And I know that chloroplast, that photosynthesis takes place um, in chloroplast. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave that there. And then I would go back to my puzzle pieces and what I tell students to do is to delete the puzzle piece that they used so that they don't um, get confused. And then I would move on and for example, I know sunlight, I'm going to copy that one. I know that when does it happen? Photosynthesis happens with sunlight. And so I would place that one there as well and just keep going until I have all those puzzle pieces used. And I'll go back and delete it. And then so um, once I'm done with the page one, I'll go over to page two and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let's get carbon dioxide. So I'm going to copy carbon dioxide. And I know this is one of the beginning ones because you can see that it's rounded right here. So I'm going to go to my second page. I'm going to paste it. 
And I asked, does it go with photosynthesis? Does it go with cellular respiration? Is it a reactant to photosynthesis or cellular, uh, cellular respiration? And I know that it is a reactant with photosynthesis. And I would just place that there and I would keep moving on. So I'm gonna delete that. And then I know sugar goes with, it is a reactant with cellular respiration. And I would place that one there as well. Okay, and then again, once students finish this, then they will um, move over to the reflection. And then that's pretty much it. And they can just submit that to you if you have Google Classroom. And um, I also provide an answer key so it makes it super easy to grade. So um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You'll find my email, um, mathindemand at hotmail.com or at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Bye.